Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for SAP basis candidates. With five or more years of experience, along with their answers. 1. Can you explain the role of SAP basis in an enterprise and how it supports SAP applications? Answer. SAP basis plays a critical role in the technical administration and infrastructure management of SAP systems, ensuring their stability, performance, and availability. It supports SAP applications by handling installation, configuration, maintenance, and security. 2. How have you managed system landscape design and strategy in your previous roles? Answer. I have been responsible for designing and implementing SAP system landscapes, including development, quality assurance, and production systems. My strategy includes careful consideration of scalability, high availability, and disaster recovery. 3. Describe the procedures you follow for SAP system installations, including prerequisites and best practices. Answer. SAP system installations require thorough planning and execution. Key steps include preparing the hardware, installing the required software components, setting system parameters, and applying support packages. It's essential to follow SAP's installation guides and best practices. 4. Can you discuss your experience with SAP system upgrades, including EC to S4 HANA migrations and the challenges you've encountered? Answer. I've been involved in several SAP system upgrades, including EC to S4 HANA migrations. Challenges often revolve around data migration, custom code adaptation, and ensuring data consistency during the migration process. Comprehensive testing and detailed planning are critical for success. 5. How do you ensure high availability and disaster recovery in a SAP landscape? Answer. High availability is achieved through system redundancy, load balancing, and failover mechanisms. Disaster recovery involves regular backups, off-site data storage, and a well-defined recovery plan often leveraging technologies like system replication and data mirroring. 6. Can you describe the process of configuring and maintaining SAP Solution Manager for optimal system management? Answer. Configuring SAP Solution Manager involves setting up system monitoring, managing system data, and configuring solution documentation. It should be kept up to date and integrated with other SAP systems for effective system management, including change request management and IT service management. 7. How do you handle system performance optimization in SAP? And what are some advanced performance tuning techniques you've used? Answer. System performance optimization includes advanced techniques, like optimizing skull queries, database partitioning, and custom code optimization. It also involves analyzing performance data using tools like SAP Performance Optimization Workbench SAP PAL and addressing bottlenecks proactively. 8. Explain your approach to SAP security and compliance, including user management, authorization, and auditing practices. Answer. Security and compliance are top priorities in SAP basis. I've implemented robust user management processes, established role-based authorizations using FIT, and configured SAP Security Audit Logs M19 to monitor critical system activities and access. 9. Can you discuss your experience with SAP HANA and how it differs from traditional database systems in the context of SAP basis? Answer. SAP HANA is an in-memory database platform that offers significant performance advantages. In SAP basis, I've managed SAP HANA systems, including system administration, monitoring, and backup strategies tailored for in-memory databases. 10. How do you manage SAP Transport Management System TMS in complex SAP landscapes? And what challenges have you faced in transport management? Answer. TMS is crucial for managing transports between different SAP systems. In complex landscapes, I've managed transport routes, configured custom transport routes, and coordinated transports between systems. Challenges often include conflict resolution, 
managing complex transport dependencies, and ensuring consistent transport sequences. 11. Can you describe the process of SAP system refresh and system copy in detail? And how do you handle data consistency in these processes? Answer. SAP system refresh involves overriding the data in a target system with data from a source system. System copy is the process of creating a new system by duplicating data and configurations. Data consistency is maintained through proper planning, testing, and the use of tools like SAP Data Transport. 12. What is SAP Llama Landscape Management, and how can it benefit SAP Basis Administrators in Landscape Automation? Answer. SAP Landscape Management Llama is a solution that simplifies and automates SAP landscape operations. It streamlines activities like system provisioning, monitoring, and system copying, making the management of large, complex landscapes more efficient. 13. Can you discuss your experience with SAP system monitoring and alerting, and how do you ensure proactive issue resolution? Answer. I've established system monitoring using SAP Solution Manager, focusing on performance, availability, and security. Proactive issue resolution involves setting up alerting thresholds, monitoring system logs, and using tools like Early Watch Alert to identify and address issues before they impact business operations. 14. What are the key components and considerations in an SAP Basis project plan? And how do you approach a system migration or upgrade project? Answer. A typical SAP Basis project plan includes assessment, planning, design, execution, and post-migration tasks. System migration or upgrade projects require a comprehensive approach, including thorough testing, risk assessment, and a well-defined rollback plan. 15. Describe your experience with SAP Fiori and mobile application management in SAP Basis, including integration and security considerations. Answer. I'm involved in implementing SAP Fiori and managing mobile applications. This includes ensuring secure access, integrating with backend systems, and addressing security considerations, such as single sign-on SSO and mobile device management MDM. 16. How have you handled SAP system security, hardening, and compliance audits, including best practices for securing SAP systems? Answer. Implemented security hardening by applying SAP security notes enforcing strong password policies, and implementing secure network configurations. Compliance audits involve collaborating with audit teams, providing evidence of security measures, and addressing audit findings. 17. Can you discuss your experience with SAP Cloud Platform CCP and its integration with on-premises SAP systems in SAP basis roles? Answer. I've worked with SAP Cloud Platform to enable cloud services, such as SAP Cloud Connector, to securely connect on premises SAP systems with cloud-based applications and services. This allows businesses to extend their SAP landscape to the cloud while maintaining data integrity and security. 18. What is the role of SAP Fiori Launchpad, and how do you configure it for user-specific application access? Answer. The SAP Fiori Launchpad is a central entry point for users to access Fiori apps. I've configured it by creating groups and catalogs and assigning applications to specific users or roles, ensuring a personalized and user-friendly interface. 19. How do you handle SAP kernel upgrades in large SAP landscapes, and what strategies do you employ to minimize downtime? Answer. Kernel upgrades in large landscapes require careful planning and testing. Strategies include parallel upgrades, utilizing SAP system copies for testing, and scheduling upgrades during low usage periods to minimize downtime. 20. Can you discuss your experience with SAP Solution Manager 7.2 and its features, such as SAP-focused run integration and business process monitoring? Answer. SAP Solution Manager 7.2 offers enhanced monitoring capabilities, including integration with SAP-focused run and business process monitoring, 
These features allow for advanced end-to-end -end system monitoring, performance analysis, and incident management. 21. Explain the use of SAP HANA Multitenant Database Containers MDC and how you've managed them in SAP basis roles. Answer. SAP HANA MDC allows multiple databases to run within a single HANA instance. In SAP basis, I've managed MDC databases including administration, backup, and recovery, and tenant provisioning to meet different business unit requirements. 22. What are the key aspects of SAP security patch management, and how do you ensure timely and secure patch application? Answer. SAP security patch management involves regular application of SAP security notes. I've established a patch management process that includes vulnerability assessment, testing, and a well-defined rollout plan to ensure timely and secure patch application. 23. Can you describe the process of performing system copies homogeneous and heterogeneous? And system refreshes, including post-copy steps and data consistency validation. Answer. System copies involve duplicating a SAP system for various purposes. The process includes export, import, and post-copy steps like adapting system configurations. Data consistency is validated through thorough testing and verification. 24. How do you handle authorization and role design in complex SAP landscapes, and what tools do you use for efficient role maintenance? Answer. Authorization and role design involve understanding business processes, defining roles and authorizations in FIF, and adhering to the principle of least privilege. Tools like SAP Role Redesign and SAP Access Control support efficient role maintenance and compliance. 25. Can you explain the significance of transport layers in SAP transport management and how they are used to organize transports in a landscape? Answer. Transport layers are used to organize and categorize transport routes and requests in SAP TMS. They enable better control and organization of transports, allowing you to group transports based on their purposes and dependencies. 26. How do you manage SAP Fiori applications configuration and security, ensuring that users have a seamless and secure experience? Answer. Managing SAP Fiori applications involves configuring tiles, catalogs, and groups to provide users with a personalized experience. Security considerations include single sign-on SSO, role-based access control, and encryption for data protection. 27. What is your experience with SAP Business Warehouse W in SAP basis roles? And how do you ensure optimal performance and system reliability for W systems? Answer. In SAP basis, I've managed SAP W systems, which often have unique requirements. I've optimized W system performance through measures like index maintenance, optimizing data loads, and coordinating with business users to ensure data reliability and query performance. 28. How do you approach SAP system upgrades from one support package stack to another? And what is your strategy for ensuring minimal impact on ongoing business operations? Answer. SAP system upgrades involve careful planning and testing to minimize downtime and disruptions. The strategy includes creating a rollback plan, thoroughly testing in a non-production environment, and scheduling the upgrade during a low-impact period. 29. Can you discuss your experience with SAP S for HANA conversion projects? And what challenges and strategies you've encountered during these migrations? Answer. SAP S4 HANA conversions require thorough preparation and data migration planning. Challenges include data cleansing, custom code adaptation, and testing. Strategies involve data migration and alignment with best practices for SAP S4 HANA. 30. How have you addressed the challenges of data privacy and compliance in your SAP basis roles, especially in global organizations? Answer. Data privacy and compliance are critical considerations. I've implemented data encryption, data retention policies, and access controls to ensure data privacy. 
I've also collaborated with legal and compliance teams to meet global regulatory requirements such as GDPR and CCA. These 30 questions are designed to assess the experience and knowledge of SAP basis professionals with five or more years of experience. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and web stack development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.